Welcome friends to another Dune video. During Mentats of Dune we see Valia Harkonnen sent to the Ginaz Swordmasters to learn some of their techniques. Let's get straight into it. Valia says to Rakella, the Reverend Mother Superior, she wants to learn from the Ginaz Swordmasters and other great schools to, as the book tells it, to observe Ginaz, absorb and adapt their fighting methods bodily control, defences, and how to think during combat. And Valley Harkonnen is sent to their world. It had been started during the Butlerian Jihad, and over a century later, swordmasters, who will have a big influence in Dune later, such as Duncan Idaho, are trained there. She's taken on, along with other students, by Rissar. He first sends them to remain silent, and wait, she does, on a high cliff above the water. Valia takes time to study the other men and women in the group and one stands out, a small sinewy man. He looks like his fought before. She goes over to him and finds out she has passed the first test and picked out this man as their instructor. He was already amongst them. He moves to the right to go around her whilst she waits defensively. The real instructor's name is Master Placido and he throws his sword into the air and catches it in a flourish. Valia sees this tactic as him trying to intimidate her. She could have disarmed him whilst he showed off. She takes up his spot amongst the other students and is ready to learn. Then she studies her actual instructor using her Bene Gesserit training. The teacher says Valia saw him and anyone you fight must study their strengths and weaknesses. He tells them to break into pairs to face each other. The man she faces seems to have fought in brawls. They fight without swords. They study each other and Valia leapt to strike Lenari with a fist to the head. Then she moved round and kicked his knees to send him tumbling. After this, the pairings change. Valia proved herself each time. She could have killed or disabled each of her opponents but chose not to. The instructor watches her and says, maybe... She can teach the class. She says she can teach him. He smiles, eager to learn. They faced each other. Valia watched him, and the swordmaster gave the class a lecture on what she did, how she drew information from every sense, and that lets her adapt to every combat situation. She considers and disregards the idea of attacking him, as the master says this to the group, how she is aggressive, then switches to defence. Then he begins to encircle her sometimes, somersaulting on hands or feet, and she realises he has taken the sword from her side, and he now has a sword in each hand. She turned, and he blurred, and she felt a thrust that brought her to her knees. Then he was gone, and her and the students went to the edge of the precipice they were fought on. Somehow the Ginnad's swordmaster had scaled the cliff in moments and was now back up with them. He says about Valia that she is interesting but has much to learn. He sees murder in her eyes and says the training is not for that. She says the murder is for someone else and she only uses it as motivation when fighting the students. The master agrees she can use it effectively in that way. Over time she added to, to what she knew and when practicing the sword master asks if she wants a real opponent to which she relents. He offered her an array of swords and she chooses a dueling sword from those presented. He chooses the blade and her skill is high enough, the master says, and so they will fight without masks and vests because she can restrain herself. And so they did. She defended only at first and did not press the attack because she was not experienced with the weapon she had chosen. She parried instead. The master brought new moves out of his arsenal. He tended to be more aggressive as the fight continued and she continued to hold him off. The master asks her if another sword master had ever trained her. She says, no, only observed. She was a reverend mother and with her other memory unlocked had it been those fighters, but she didn't share that with him. The teacher nicked her cheek with his sword. She was shocked he'd gotten past her defences so easily. He avoided her counter and the tip of, the, of the, his blade ended up under her chin. 
on this skill stopped the blade, ending her life. He then attacked with unrelated moves, and she built up a defence to them. She got a little distance between them. He moved towards her with a running attack. She had begun to know his moves at this point, to take his utter measure, and she deployed the voice and says, Halt. The master was frozen, his blade a small distance only from her chest, and she drew a thin line of red across the statue's brow, and later she will not explain how it worked. Then she receives a message to be summoned back to Wallach. 9. The Reverend Mother Superior was ready to announce her successor. So now friends, I turn this over to you. Anything to say, comment down below.